Big thanks go out to Taiwa for supporting today's video via Patreon. The Prismatic Bridge versus Wilson Flaming Fist. Not sure we'll be able to outrace this one, especially with that hand. Uh, yeah, that's going to be too slow. We want some ramp, ideally. Uh, okay, that's looking better. We'll get rid of the Ugin on that one. We are on the draw. Our opponent just gets down a tap land. We see a Sakura Tribelder, which hopefully... I think this commander has trample, doesn't it? Yeah, so doesn't matter if we do the whole chump blocking thing. Just aiming for a Nature's Law on turn two. So as you would expect, it is Wilson Refined Grizzly on turn two. And there is a land for us, so it's Volcanic Island into the Nature's Law. And we grab some at white and black mana with the Triome. Sator Enchanter, so we're obviously looking at an Enchantress deck here. Wilson dealing the first two points of commander damage to us. So uh, grateful that we didn't see the Flaming Fist there. We might be able to add some command attacks onto that. Although the Firemine Vessel enters tapped, doesn't it? So yeah, argument to be made for us going Sakura Tribelder here. Draw into uh, Myogen of Seeing Winds. Yeah, we don't need the Firemine Vessel in order to cast our commander next turn. Thanks to the Sakura Tribelder. So yeah, let's go for... Sakura Tribelder, and we can hold up the Dovin's Veto still. I'm imagining our opponent wanted to get down the Sator before casting the Flaming Fist. And it is noteworthy that this one is activated or triggered on cast, so even if we do counter the Flaming Fist here, they'll still get the card draw. Hall of Heliod's Generosity into play, and we do manage to predict them quite nicely there. So before they draw another card, we'll crack the... Um, the Bloodstained Mire, and this will have to grab as a white source, so that can just be a plateau. Dovin's Veto countering the Flaming Fist, and then the Sator will resolve and they'll draw back up to five. Deciding to leave that in the bin, so wanting to cheat the command attacks, it will mean that they have to tap down three of their lands in order to put that back on top next turn. So Wilson swinging in here, we might as well just block the Sator at this point. So block with Sakura Tribelder. Once it's declared as blocked, we'll get priority again once our opponent passes. And that gives us an opportunity to sacrifice the Sakura Tribelder. And it can be either double black or double white. We'll just go for the black. Alright, so that's a Field of the Dead. It's nice to be able to get down a tap land here. Uh, our opponent could have removal for our commander, but we'll try and get it down anyway here. So, casting the Prismatic Bridge, get down Field of the Dead. We are one land away from starting to trigger Field of the Dead. And we just pray that our opponent doesn't have removal for the Prismatic Bridge at this point. Decided to draw before going for Hall of Heliod's Generosity. And now we see a Yavamaya, which fixes our green mana nicely. See a Nature's Law from Wilson as well. And then swinging in, putting us at six points of commander damage. And we get the first trigger from the Prismatic Bridge, so... We'll just hold up Heroic Intervention for the Foreseeable now. Gets us into a Vraska Relic Seeker. And we even get a land as well, so can start triggering Field at this point. So everything going perfectly for us here. Uh, get down at the Firemine Vessel. And that ramps us ahead quite nicely. Uh, tick down on... Yeah, we'll tick down on the Wilson, I think. Paying the ward cost here, but we should get a treasure so that we can hold up the Heroic Intervention. Alright, and uh, yeah, our opponent has a Snakeskin Veil, so not going to get the treasure here. We do get the Snakeskin Veil out of our opponent's hand, though. And then at the end of the turn, our opponent did put the enchantment back on top with the Hall of Heliod's Generosity. So uh, we need to get into a big dumb creature to blow up the Wilson with, really. Could always try and take down the Vraska again. Or not, there is a Hyena Umbra. So we stand to take at least 8 points of commander damage here, although I will throw the zombie in the way. First going for an idol on a Blossoms. So they did just draw a card and they'll draw another one when this enters. <laughs> and then going for a Mana Crypt as well, down to 3 cards in hand. Can get down their background here. And a Sol Ring. They were holding out on us apparently. Sram Senior Edificer. Absolutely god tier draws they're making. We know what card they've got in hand. Decided not to play it for whatever reason. Uh, oh, the Flaming Fist has ended up back in their command zone somehow. Oh, I think that must be a click mistake. I think you have to choose to be able to put commanders and backgrounds in your library. And obviously they didn't do that, so it's a mystery card that is in their hand. Um, 
Yeah, I think I'd like to see the back of an Enchantress while we've got the chance here. So we'll allow Wilson to take out the Braska. It goes down either way here, so yeah, we might as well take out a Sator Enchanter. Luckily, we're still getting free card advantage from the Prismatic Bridge. So we'll see what we get into this time. All right, a Kaya Inexorable, so yeah, we can get rid of the Wilson here if we want to. This just cares about destruction, I think. I'll just double check. Yeah, doesn't manage to dodge Exile with that. And we managed to get into another land, so I'll play that out into Field of the Dead again. We'll have to pay the ward cost again, of course. But exiling the Wilson is excellent for us here. Uh, would have been able to cast the Myoge in there and refill our hand, but I'm fine just holding up Heroic Intervention. Our opponent will draw two cards here upon playing the background, so isn't out of it yet. Does take a Lightning Bolt to the Mana Crypt, though, which could be ominous. So Wilson back into play once more. And then Flaming Fist, so like I said, oh actually, this just cares about auras, doesn't it? So I misspoke before, just going to draw one card from the Eidolon. We'll draw two to auras. Up to three cards in hand again, though. Then we see Tajiri Preserver. Don't think we have any Edict effects in this deck, although maybe there's some I'm not thinking of. Haven't played this deck in a long time. So if they want to dedicate two creatures to the board here, to the red zone, then they can, but decide to... Just allow the Kaya to survive for the sake of keeping their card draw. So Prismatic Bridge obviously triggering once again. And this time getting to a real bomb in Nyx Bloom Ancient. So definitely going to slam down the Myogen this time. And our opponent doesn't even bother to have a look at what cards are in our hand. I mean, turns out it was going to be a really, really good one. But they didn't know that. So we would have drawn uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... 14 once the Myogen's down and that would have included a couple of extra turn cards in Time Warp and the um, Alrun's Epiphany as well so yeah turns out that we were likely going to win that one if they didn't scoop to the uh, the Nyx Bloom Ancient then they would have scooped to the extra turns most definitely. We'll try another one. Up against another five colour commander now the Ur Dragon and eh, it's not the best hand but we can accelerate our mana by a turn get out a turn four commander we're on the play as well so i'll try it and our opponents had to mulligan down to five unfortunately so that puts us at an even greater advantage but a good five cards or six cards because they're on the draw will be out an okay seven quite often tap shock land for our opponent we get into the heroic intervention again so uh, yeah, might be able to get out of tap land with the Wooded Foothills, a Triome. Um, so tap the mana correctly and we can go for Sakura Tribe Elder. I'll just sacrifice that here. I highly, highly doubt our opponent will have a Stifle effect, but sometimes good to just play around that. We'll grab an Island. Dragon Lord Servant will make dragons cost one less. And uh, there we see the Nyx Bloom Ancient. See if our opponent scoops to that this game. So yeah, I'll do like I said and just go for a Triome here. And then seeing a 5-mana uh, Dragon on turn 3. That is Ganex, Astral Hunter. And they get a Treasure swinging at us with the Dragonlord Servant. Okay, Urborg might fix their mana for them. So uh, yeah, I think we're fine just going for the Mountain here. And we'll get down our Commander. Oh, that's a scary one. Two-headed Hellkite into play now. I was hoping that we'd be able to outramp our opponent nicely, but yeah, apparently not. <laughs> and we see a Mana Crypt as well. So we get to trigger our Prismatic Bridge for the first time. And all right, that's a Cogler. So Cogler will fight this thing, definitely. It doesn't have Death Touch or anything, and it will survive. So yeah, definitely get rid of that. And then there is a Greater Auromancy that we've drawn into as well. That should make it really difficult for our opponent to get rid of our stuff. So, yeah, I think we're fine to just fix their Black Mana here. They're getting treasures anyway. And then we're holding up our protection with Heroic Intervention as well. Just hoping that they don't go off on us too much. Be able to blow up their Mana Crypt next turn. Well, it's uh, bomb after bomb here. Dragon Lord Coligan this time. So I'm going to give all their dragons haste. Then playing Dragon's Horde after that. Got them down to two cards in hand. Gonna whack us for a lot of damage here though. So they've got us down to 20. We need to start dealing with these dragons really. Prismatic Bridge could hopefully help us with that. Alright, a Meteor Golem. So let's get rid of the Dragon Lord Coligan. The other dragon's only dealing three damage to us a turn. And then we draw into a land, so we'll drop a Tropical Island. 
and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we could go for the Field of the Dead this turn. Although then we're not holding up Heroic Intervention, but am I really bothered about a board wipe at this point? Well, we'll swing in with the Colligan first, either way. And I'll get rid of the Dragon's Horde as opposed to the Mana Crypt, because that's card advantage for them. And they can chump block here if they want to, but decide not to. So deal 7 damage, take them down to 25. So yeah, we'll go Scape Shift here. I'll just get rid of these lands that I've tapped down. And we'll uh, make a concerted effort to keep the uh, colours intact. So we want Field of the Dead. We want the World Tree that will fix our colours. And then it's Triome. And we'll get ourselves just a Command Tower should be fine. That triggers Field of the Dead four times because four lands entered and we do control um, seven lands of course. So still able to hold up Heroic Intervention and we've got Field of the Dead online now as well as fixing our colours with the World Tree. Okay, our opponent did manage to make a land there, so unfortunately, thanks to the Dragon Lord Servant, does manage to play down the Ur Dragon. Was hoping that we wouldn't see a land this turn from our opponent, but this makes a more interesting game out of it, I suppose. The Ur Dragon does have them draw a card, and they can put a creature into play. That is Ancient Copper Dragon. Uh, so, yeah, they do get another treasure token. Hoping that we draw into some more removal next turn. We do have a lot of removal in the form of our permanents in this deck. So we'll see how lucky we are with the Prismatic Bridge here. Alright, awesome. Coma is going to do some work for us here. So we can tap down the Ancient Copper Dragon. And that is a land for us. It's a fetch which gets us more zombies. So play out the Flooded Strand. And I'll go for the Luminate Primordial being hard cast here, I think. And we'll exile the Ur Dragon here. Because I do want to swing in with the Cogler. And if they want to trade us the Ancient Copper Dragon for the Cogler, that's fine with me. We're putting them a step further away from uh, their commander here. So swing in with everything at our opponent. Yeah, and the Cogler can deal with that Mana Crypt eventually. So deciding to see the back of the Meteor Golem to the Ancient Copper Dragon and we will kill off their Dragon Lord Servant. So Coma triggers here and at the beginning of combat we'll likely tap down the Ancient Copper Dragon so that they can't uh, fix their mana. It's a shame because since all the excitement for this thing I've never actually, well I've hardly seen it hit play and once I have it's never actually hit anyone. Same with the Silver Dragon and the card draw, never actually seen them hit anyone. Okay, a Silumgar, the Drifting Death, so minus one, minus one. Won't do anything to any of our creatures yet. Does give them a treasure, so they could get down a four drop. I think Anax doing some real good work for them this game. And then they go through to the beginning of combat phase, so we will tap down the Ancient Copper Dragon here by sacrificing a Coma's Coil. Does remove the ability for us to get indestructible on Coma, but I think it's worth removing the chance to get more treasures on the board. Also means that they can only... Uh, okay, the Cyclonic Rift in response there. It would have been worth holding on to that, I think. Making us replay everything, including the bridge. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. They're not going to wipe out our zombies here. It's just going to be minus one, minus one on everything if they decide to swing in with that. And they decide not to bother, so we'll go for Flooded Strand for a tap land here just to get another zombie out. Need to start watching our life total here, though. So Prismatic Bridge again during our turn, and this time we get into have a seen Angel of Hope, so we can just swing in as much as we like at this point. And we see a Plateau as well, so drop the Plateau, Triggers Field again. And after we drop down the Nix Bloom Ancient, we don't quite have enough for Coma as well unfortunately, so yeah, we're just getting down the Coma again I think. And we can still hold up Intervention, so... Yeah, just swing in with all of our indestructible stuff. They've got flying with everything, so... Yeah, not much point in holding back here, really. Cogler can deal with a treasure token, which might be relevant. And they will have to think twice about how they swing in with the Silumgar, because they've got an AA Avacyn to worry about now. But going to take 17 damage, I think that is. So, yeah, they go down to 7. So they need to get us in one swing here, really. Although we do get a Coma... Serpent token, so we can tap down an Ancient Copper Dragon. They're going to need buffs and double strike on their stuff, really. And, uh, yeah, I don't think they're really going to be able to do that at this point with an Avacyn in play. 
This is where it would have been handy for them to have been able to overload that cyclonic rift. It might have bought them enough time to swing in at us with the dragons. We play out off the top. Uh, Lightning Greave, so no cards in hand. Trying to protect the Ancient Copper Dragon, we'll tap that down now. And it looks as though we just get them on the swing back at this point. So they decide to scoop it, yeah. Really enjoy the Prismatic Bridge and don't get to play it very much because I'm always concentrating on the newer sets. Those are the videos that are always most popular, but really, really enjoy this deck in 1v1. So the deck list is in the description if you ever want to play with it yourself. That is the same with all the videos and all the decks that I play on this channel. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Be sure to consider donating on Patreon if you did enjoy the video. I'm Travel Kai. Thank you for watching.